What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to make a page do a custom link redirect. In other words, we're gonna be using the page links to WordPress plugin and we're gonna learn how to use this plugin. This plugin was made in the case that you do not want that the page links to the default WordPress URL, to the default WordPress link. Let's imagine that you have a blog and in this blog, the latest post, like I'm here, has, um, if you click on this post on your blog, you'll be directed to the blog, to the blog post page. The same situation for portfolio, or if you click on the shop page, we're gonna load your projects. And if you click on a project, we're gonna load the project page. This is the default WordPress linking system. But how to change it? How to edit this? In the case that, for example, if you click on this post, you'll be directed to the to a custom website, for example, or to another page of your site that isn't your post. First of all, we're gonna move to WordPress dashboard plugins, add new, and in the search field, we're gonna type page link to. We're gonna be installing the very first plugin called Page Links 2 by Mark. Click on Install Now button and wait until the plugin be installed. After that, we're gonna click on Activate button. It used to be a blue button. As soon as you activate the plugin, we are good to go. And all we need to do is move to the post or page that we want to make a custom redirect. For example, let me try the blog post that I used as example previously. Go to posts, find out the post. In my case, it's five reasons to use WordPress for your website. Click on it. So you can load the Gutenberg editor, the new WordPress 5 editor. Here's our post, and if you look at the right sidebar of options, you're gonna find out a new field called Page Links 2. But let's explore the options here. Of course, you're gonna see more options than usual because we are using our Visual Modo WordPress Teams. But by default, you will find this one called Page Link 2. It's a normal WordPress URL, but we're gonna click on a custom URL. You can set the option to open the link in a new tab, but in the links too, you're gonna type where you want to be directed if someone clicks on this page or post. In this case, I did type the visualmoto.com website and set it to open in a new tab. So if you click on this post now, instead of going to the post page, to see the post contents, you're gonna be loading another website. Let me remove the page to open in the new tab and update the article again. Now, if you click on the post, you're gonna be directed to the Visual Modo website, in this case, in the same window. Now, let's try it out for pages, once the plugin also works for pages. If you click on shop page, we're gonna be loading the shop, the, your projects. But let's imagine that you want to be loading another page. For example, a page that isn't on your website. I'm gonna be loading, if someone clicks on the shop page, the Visual Modo Teams page. Where you can see our portfolio of WordPress Teams. Copy the page link. Now go to the shop page editor. Once again on the page links to in the right sidebar of elements, you're gonna set a custom URL, post the link and just update the page. Now if someone clicks on the shop, on your menu, you're gonna be loading the visual model website or any other website that you set. 
And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best.